Hello Hive Dwellers, Tony here with my second Killer Queen tech video. Last time I focused on speed, specifically in the horizontal direction. This time, the rise and fall means we're looking at vertical movement, a close follow-up. Here's a view of the setup for the first test, falling. A blue worker perches at the top right of the day map and jumps down into the corridor that's open all the way to the floor. Take note of the controls in the inset video. Each jump is a full long tap, not released until we reach the floor. This way, every jump is exactly the same. So let's do that same test with several beads. As soon as we start, the first kink in the experiment reveals itself, but an interesting one. Workers jump higher than warriors or queens. Oh well, we'll let everyone fall back to the level of that top ledge they jumped from and give the workers an extra moment to catch up with their longer fall. Then measure from there. At this point, clearly everyone falls at exactly the same rate. Worker and speed worker, warrior and speed warrior, plus queen are all subject to the same gravity. But the queen, she can dive. Let's compare a falling queen to a diving queen. I'll spare you the details because this one's clearly visible. We use the same trick again to start on equal footing, then see that the dive drops at exactly twice the rate of the regular fall. Next up is the opposite of falling, rising. In order to explain this test, I have to introduce this monster. Attached to a big lead acid battery as a base, I recently built this automatic tapping machine, which I like to call the turbo button. Its other features will show up in future videos, but for today, the important one is to tap perfectly at a predictable rate, the same rate every time. So I'll start as a vanilla warrior, then upgrade to speed warrior, then check again with the queen, and know that they're each being controlled with exactly the same taps on the button. It's not a big surprise that a vanilla warrior rises at the same rate as the queen. But the speed warrior rises more quickly. Measure carefully the distance that the vanilla warrior travels in the time it takes the speed warrior to rise fully to the ceiling, and you'll see that each tap gives the speed warrior 30% more loft. We're not done! We've learned that everyone falls at the same speed, except the queen can dive at exactly twice that rate. And the warriors and queens rise the same, but speed warriors rise 30% faster than that. However, in the bonus game, the elusive speed queen makes herself visible. The first queen life in bonus game is a speed queen, as evidenced by the trails behind her motion, just like a speed warriors. So let's quickly repeat our earlier tests, but add a speed queen to the mix. Unsurprisingly, speed queen rises just like a speed warrior, with a day map comparison to verify that's really the same. Speed doesn't stack with dive, though. She dives at the same rate whether she has speed or not. And just to be thorough, here's the horizontal movement speed, too. Thanks for watching!